and we're at PS 161 in Manhattan today and I'll be doing indigo dyeing with 18 sixth graders and it'll be their first time experiencing indigo and we're going to dye that cotton fabric and they're going to get to see what happens. Our students, a lot of them are from the Dominican Republic as well as other South and Central American countries and um, additionally um, we have a new population from Yemen which is really exciting and um, Senegal. So a lot of kids come to us with a language barrier but a project like Indigo is so amazing because they're actually doing things, not just being exposed to vocabulary but using it. I'm Talana Bradley, the principal of the Young Women's Leadership School of Brooklyn. Currently we have 6th and 7th graders and our premise is that all of our students will graduate on time in 12th grade and they will all go to college. We always look for interdisciplinary connections so that the learning could be more seamless and just a little bit more real. I'm a doctor! <laughs> so it's great to have this partnership. In fact, we'd like more of it. More of it. Today, you're gonna dye with indigo. This is dried indigo. But this is the plant. The Silk Road actually did extend to Japan. And this is a Japanese technique. It's called shibori. We're going to pull two groups of threads together. Everybody pull hard. Pull, 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 pull. Perfect. Pulling tight, tight, tight. You're gonna wrap it just like you would tie your shoe. Dip the white fabric. See what it gives you. La la la. Ta ta. I have no idea. Spaceship Square. In math class, they got to do the patterns, and they looked at how they're gonna um, put their clips to get these different patterns. So I uh, made it into some kind of square, but it came out looking like a rhombus. Good. Everybody's sleeves are rolled up, or you have short sleeves, or you have a t-shirt on. Excellent. Okay. Are you ready? One, two, three. Whoa! And this is the bloom, or the flower, or the blossom of the indigo. It was kind of gross and stuff, because it kind of looked like blue vomit, because it had like chunks of blue stuff in it. And I felt like something was going to come up and bite me, because it was, felt a little weird, and I didn't know what was in there. I like putting my hand in the indigo. I like getting my hand dirty. And it stinks. Badly. What do you guys think of the smell? It's the same. What do you think Soil. it smells like? Soil. Soil. Rotten eggs. Rotten eggs. Disgusting. Eggs. eggs. Okay. Organs. 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 A pond. Perfect, because what did we talk about earlier? We took those leaves and we fermented those leaves. It smelled like a dirty ocean, like a fish pond. You know what scat is? And then they came to science, and we got actually into the science of how is this possible when the ear hits it, why is that making the color change? It doesn't start out to be blue, but after the oxygen touches it, it turns to blue. Three, two, one, lift it up. Whoa. Watch it go from green yellow to blue. So there's the magic of indigo. Look at you, so afraid of indigo. Look how quickly yours is turning blue. Will the um, color stay forever? Yes, the color will stay, but just as your jeans fade, it would slowly fade. All righty, everybody's going to give that fabric a nice squeeze. Go hang it up over there. When the plants are green and the water is blue, you mix those colors like the night moon. 
When you see the colors, you will smile like the sun, just like the sea in the moonlight noon. And the goal is cool because it represents blue. And the goal is cool because we learn it in school. I love in the goal because it makes me look blue. In the goal, in the goal, my life is blue. So our pot is about 80 degrees, and that's the temperature we need for pot. I can't hold my head, that's how cold it is. No, it's no. not that cold. The wind blowing, I saw as a turtle. Dip in a wet cloth, take it out, it's greenish. Let it breathe and it turns blue. Blue reminds me of the sky. When I look up, I see clouds forming into shapes and some peeking out from behind the morning blue sky. Indigo is the color of love. It's deep with thoughts and inspires life. What you're going to do is we need to carefully cut the threads so that we can pull them out and reveal the designs that you the made. Way. So pull the and cut the knot. Good. It's really important that they actually go through the whole chemistry. They use all of their senses to smell the indigo, to feel the warmth of the indigo, to hang it up, to see the indigo change before their very eyes. To get to experience that is so unique and so precious. This is like diamond. It came out looking a little weird, but I liked it because of the color. The color was kind of like a cerulean color, and I liked it because it, it, it reminded me, it, it brings back memories. Okay. Can we keep it? You are going to keep it. You're going to take them home. It was so fantastic that nature could do even painting and art. I never knew that nature could do that. When would you be coming back um, to, to teach in the goal game yeah. with us? I don't know. I don't know. Well, I never did one of these projects in my old school, so yeah. I really like liked it so much. Like, it was, really cool. Cool. Yeah. It was awesome. Thank you. today with Nakia Smith and Asia Johnson. Hi, I'm Diamante, interviewing with the Nitro. Smile for the camera, people. Smile for the camera. What is indigo? Indigo is a, it's a, a rich blue dye. I like the part when I actually touched indigo. We're in an interview right now. Okay, Samantha and Kelsey, what have you learned about the Silk Road? I learned that they used to trade like goods and stuff, but not only goods, they traded ideas. Yes. Guys, can you come over here? I want you to be in the middle, okay? Me? Yeah. And you? This is all about the Silk Road, and this is our indigo dance. Uh, we we basically know all the steps to it, and we help each other out. So if somebody doesn't know the steps, we try to pitch it. Me and my friend Marilyn, we really thought you make indigo with your hands. It's a lot of hand movement, so we thought it was type of fingerish. That's why I came up with this type. It goes kind of like this, and I don't really know why. One, two, three. <laughs> Some people thought it was kind of crazy to do, but it was actually kind of fun. And now every day they come in and are like, can we do the indigo dance, please? It meant that they're making indigo a part of their life. That's what it meant. That's what I saw. So it's amazing because it's the indigo dance. They never cease to amaze me. So. It's not a surprise that they're so into it. It's not a surprise that they're asking good questions and they're thinking about um, indigo and the Silk Road in new ways. That's not surprising to me. They're really smart, and if you give them the information, if you expose them, they latch on to it. It would be fun to do it again, but I don't think I would be able to take the smell. Maybe a little nose crunch to close my nose. I'm gonna hang it up on my wall so I can remember the times. But at first, I'm washing it. 
because it still stinks. Stop, stop, stop.